Hey, this is Michael Stock Updates. We're live. Uh, just jumping on here tonight. Wanted to get your guys' opinion on the uh, Indianapolis Colts versus the Arizona Cardinals. We have got the line at, let's see what we got. We've got the line at minus three for Arizona, and the over-under is 48 points. So just uh, wait till some people get on here and <clears throat> see what they think. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm going to do is take a tally and see what uh, we got. One for Arizona. And we have one for the Colts. And when you get on here, we will let's see what we got. Participants. See what goes on here. Let's test this thing out. Okay. So you got Arizona and the Colts. A uh, little bit about me, why we're uh, getting on here. I trade stocks during the day. I have a little YouTube channel. It's called uh, Michael Stock Updates. Just started it. Uh, it's got a little, get a little bit fancier, but um, it's pretty good information. Um, and it, as far as like you'll notice, I say um a lot, but uh, so I've got to work on that, things like that. But uh, I do stocks. That's what I do. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. And, uh, you know, when the weekend's hit and the market's closed. I love football. I like I've told people on here before, I'm a huge Kansas City Chiefs fan. Have been long before they were good. Uh, went a long time waiting on a playoff win, but uh, finally got that with Mr. Mahomes coming to town. And uh, now I think I uh, just want to talk a little bit about the Arizona and Colts game tonight. I think that uh, Arizona looks primed to win this game. Uh, the Colts need it bad to uh, even stay in the division. If the uh, Colts lose this game, they can't win the division. Tennessee wins that division if uh, the Colts take it. So so we got Arizona 0, Colts 1, and I am going to take Arizona. So let's. I'm going to mark a 1 down here and get this party started. So we have 1 for Arizona. Hmm. Yeah, we got, uh, let's, let's do the injury report while we're just sitting here waiting. Um, there was some late news where the Colts are not going to have Darius Leonard. Uh, where was that? Yeah, the Colts placed linebacker Darius Leonard, wide receiver Zach Pascal, and safety Karee Willis on the reserve COVID-19 list. They're out for tonight's game. Uh, going into that, they had a safety. That was um, Andrew Sandejo that was out for a concussion. Their center, Ryan Kelly, did not participate in practice. The Colts quarterback, Rocky Sin, did not participate. And another safety had an illness. He was a full participant in practice, though, George Odom. Uh, as far as the Cardinals, James Conner didn't look like he was going to play, but I guess he's going to play. They were saying Rondell Moore is out. Uh, defensive lineman Jordan Phillips is out. Uh, Zach Ertz had a hamstring. He was a limited participant. Looked like he was going to play. Uh, linebacker Marcus Golden, He's looked like he's out. Uh, let's see what we got here. And uh, that's it right now. Let's see. As a matter of fact, my fantasy football team uh, let me check 
Zach Ertz is in my lineup because I'm not really sure if I want Zach Ertz in my fantasy football lineup. It's, we are in the uh, championship round, so let's see. Zach Ertz doesn't even have an injury designation, so we're in good shape there. Zach Ertz. Now I have Zach Ertz, and then I have uh, Goddard that could play this Sunday. So I don't know why it didn't. Yeah. So I got Zach Ertz, or I got Goddard for Philadelphia, the tight end. Um, they have Zach Ertz as 12.55, and they have Goddard as 12.49. So I don't know which one to start there. Hmm. Arizona is winning this. That's my prediction. Acklord, you think so? So, okay. You think, I think Acklord is going to win it too. So I'm going to write your name down on this tally. One. So now we've got two picks for Arizona. And the Colts still have zero. But just waiting for people to get in here. Right now, the Packers are up on the Browns nine. Baker Mayfield, he's going deep, and it's incomplete. What's new? It's Baker Mayfield. Until he does something, I don't think he needs these all these commercials on television. But, but he went deep, and it was no good. No good. So the Packers are eleven and three. Cleveland seven and seven. Cleveland had a heartbreaker last week with the getting beat by the Brown or the Raiders last second. That pretty much killed their playoff. They could still make the playoffs, but they would have had to beat the Packers here and get some help. But without that, and that's complete on second and ten. Looks like that. Nope, went incomplete. Third and ten. Five minutes and four seconds to go in the game. Uh, Mm. I'm telling you, I think the Packers are going to be tough. You know, like I said, I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. I think um, my prediction is uh, that AFC Championship is going to be Kansas City Chiefs versus is it going to be the Patriots? I don't know. I think maybe Buffalo somehow makes some noise. But uh, I just, you know, and I might get people hating on me here. I mean, I respect the Patriots, but uh, I just don't see – Ooh, there's a big play by the Browns on third and ten. Johnson. Let's see what he did. That was a big play for the Browns. It was third and ten. They just ran it on a sweep to the right and just ended up getting tackled at ooh, the five yard line. The Browns about to go in here. Baker and touchdown. Gonna make it 22. Mm. Mm. Browns are still in this. Four minutes and 31 seconds to go. But uh, I don't know with the Colts not having Darius Leonard and uh, you know Carson Wentz versus Kyler Murray. Like I said, the Colts have been on fire. They've been playing really good. The Colts are one of those teams that you really don't want to play come playoff time. But uh, but they got to make they got to be able to get in. The playoffs first. Oh, goodness. Well, we got, uh, let's see how much longer we got to the game. Got an hour and six minutes till the game. Big game, guys. Mm. Let's touch down, Browns. Browns are back in this game. Browns are back in this game. They need a Christmas miracle at this point. They would have to beat the Green Bay Packers and get a lot of help along the way for them to, uh, them to make the playoffs. And another thing, Lamar Jackson not playing uh, this week again. That's huge. 
I know the backup quarterback for Baltimore played pretty good, but uh, that is huge for Baltimore. Goodness gracious. How could you not play in that game? I mean, it must be really bad. I uh, had a bet that week on uh, Lamar Jackson, and uh, I think they were playing the Browns. They were playing the Browns. I think they ended up getting beat by the Browns, but uh, he fell down. I mean, he got hit, but I didn't think it was that bad, and he's been out for two weeks since. So Lamar Jackson out again for uh, the Baltimore Ravens. It's big. Now Cleveland pulls back in this game. Mm -mm -mm. Goodness gracious. Ah, football. Got to love it. Got to love it. Now Green Bay up by two. You know, some people get these texts and, you know, some people think the NFL is rigged and set up. And sometimes I wonder, I'm not, I'm not joking you. Sometimes I do wonder, and you know, I do, I think it's controlled to a point with some of these holding calls and some of these referees. I think so. I think the, the game has got to, you know, be exciting, you know, back in our day, back in my day, I'm 40. 41 years old and Super Bowls used to be blowouts. I mean, they used to be absolute blowouts and they're not anymore. You know, every single game's close. It's just like the Packers, you know, facing the Browns, you know, the, this should, you would at in green Bay, you would think this would be a blowout, but it's not, you know, it's once again, a game, the line was seven and a half and, you know, Packers are up too. So I don't, they probably don't score here, you know, and they don't beat the spread, but, uh, you know, do I think it's set up? Personally, no, I don't think it's set up. I think um, there's definitely some things that happen to make the games more entertaining. Do I think every play is scripted game by, you know, play by play, and all these players are keeping a secret? No, I don't. I don't see how they could all keep that secret and never come out. That would be big, 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 huge news. But, um, but you know, sometimes just the way these things play out and the way the lines fall and how Vegas can come up with these numbers, you sometimes wonder how they can do it. You know, it definitely makes you wonder if you pay attention to where Vegas, these lines fall, which I'm sure you guys do if you guys are watching this channel. Um, it, they fall within just points, you know, like, uh, okay, so tonight's game is a, a three-point, Arizona's a three-point favorite at home, you know, against the Colts, you know. Uh, I just And the over-under is 48, let's see, I think. It's 48, unless it's changed here. It's 48 last I checked. But uh, if it's different, let me know. But, you know, um, Arizona, sh Arizona should should beat the Colts. You know, um, the Colts, like I said, they can beat anybody. The way they're built, they can beat anybody at any given time. The way they can run the ball, play play defense, and uh, – and Carson Wentz, you you got he's hot and cold, you know. But you got Zach Pascal out, you know, with COVID. You now have Darius Leonard out, which is huge for the Colts. He's such he's he's the backbone of that defense. And now you got Kyler Murray and the Cardinals, who, you know, are not the hottest team right now. They just got beat by Detroit last week, but uh, they will turn it up a notch this week, I feel, and take care of the Colts. Uh, I would take them to cover the three. I would take Arizona to cover the three. And so far we've had two people pick Arizona and one, per, nobody take the Colts so far. So, uh, you know, if you're, you get on here and just leave in the chat bar, who you think is going to win Arizona or the Colts. So like I said, we have two for Arizona and no, none for the Colts. I picked Arizona. Uh, I think Arizona will cover the spread, which is three. And I think it will be under the points 48. That's a little bit scary. That's a little, um, a little, I'm, not, I'm more comfortable with the uh, Cardinals covering than I am the spread being under 48. But we will see here. Packers game, 210 left, and the Packers are kicking off to the Browns, and the Browns are down two. I mean, the Browns could win this thing, guys. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? I mean, how is it even possible? 
Aaron Rodgers, you know, front runner for the MVP. I mean, I mean, Cleveland has got to win this game. Like I said, they've got to win this game and need help to make the playoffs. If for some reason Cleveland was to make the playoffs, you might be scared at that point because that means a lot of things are in their favor because a lot of things would have to be in their favor for Cleveland to make it. But <laughs> I can't even believe. I think uh, Green Bay was up 24 to 14 not that long ago. Not that that's a huge lead, but they're in Green Bay. So you guys get on here, let me know who you think's going to – Take the Colts and Arizona game tonight. Oh my goodness! If Colts win this game, it's it's in, or the Browns win this game, it's unbelievable. Are you kidding me? No way. But uh, so why it's on commercial? Let me um, read some stats off here. We got uh, okay. So just some things, some notes I took from the. For the game, for the game tonight, if I can get it here. Okay, so get this. Both the Colts and Arizona are both 9-5 and five against the spread this year, uh, which I thought was crazy. Um, the 47 points per game average total in Colts game this season is 1.5 points fewer than this game's over-under. Indianapolis games have gone over 48 and a half points and six of 14 chances this season. So less than half the times they went over 48 and a half the Lions 48. I take the under, like I said, and I take Arizona uh, to cover the spread, cover the three. If you're new on here, just leave a message in the message bar. To, we're just taking a tally who we think will win. Arizona's up two nothing right now. As far as the tally goes. Arizona and its opponents have gone over the current 48 and a half point level in seven to 14 games this season. So 50% of the time they've went over tonight's point spread. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Try throat. It says the Cardinals have been favored by one and a half points or more nine times this season. And they are four and five against the spread in those matchups. Uh, Arizona's games this year have gone over the total in seven out of 14 opportunities. So 50% is a flip of a coin. A lot of this stuff's a flip of a coin guys, to be honest with you. The Cardinals collect 32.7 more yards per game than the Colts allow per outing. So the Cardinals average 376.4 yards a game and the Colts give up 343.7 yards a game. So you got a really good defense going up a really good, a really good offense going up against a really good defense. Like I said earlier, uh, it's uh, it's it's going to be a game tonight, guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I think it's going to be a close game, but um, I think we have – I don't know. I think they're going to start out slow in the first half and uh, maybe turn it up a notch a little bit in the second half. If the Colts continue to run Jonathan Taylor like they should, I mean, he's up there in the MVP race, guys. I, I, I don't know if we want to put him up there or not with Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Maybe Patrick Mahomes. I don't know. I think he, maybe he's working his way up there, but uh, probably not. But um, – you got you got to have Jonathan Taylor in there and uh, Jonathan Taylor up for MVP. I would say Jonathan Taylor, Tom Brady, and Aaron Rodgers up for MVP. I'd almost have to say Jonathan Taylor right now, but the Colts not making the playoffs. If they could somehow make the playoffs, uh, I would probably vote him MVP. But Aaron Rodgers would get my vote right now. But like I said, um, minute and thirty one seconds to go, and the Packers are up two, and the Browns are driving. They're uh, at the 45-yard line, Mayfield takes the hike. He throws, and it's incomplete. Should have been first down, but not. Minute and 17 seconds to go, guys. Third and six. Cleveland season's on the line here. They would need a Christmas miracle. They would need to beat Green Bay and have quite a bit of help to make the playoffs here. But uh, I can't believe they're in this game, to be honest. I thought Green Bay was going to cover the spread at seven. We'll see. Maybe they run it back, intercept Baker Mayfield, run it back for a touchdown. Who knows? But uh, third and six. Baker's looking, looking for another commercial. He hikes the ball. Baker throws it. It completes. And first down. Oh, it was close. It was close to Nick Chubb out of bounds. I think it's going to be a first down, guys. But, but I don't know. If you guys are new on here, let me know. Um, Arizona or the Colts, who's your pick? 
Let me know if you think it's going to be over or under 48 points. Like I said, I think it's going to be under 48 points, and I think it's going to be Arizona to cover the spread. Don't have any comments yet. Be the first to comment. Well, I, I do have a comment, Arizona. We have uh, Acklord taking Arizona. And Nick Chubb, I think. I'm pretty sure that was a first down, guys. Man. Are the Browns going to do this? A minute and one second to go. One minute and one second. Let's see if that was a first down. Did they give that first down to Cleveland? Oh, they're measuring. My goodness. What is it here? Woo, anticipation, guys. This is Cleveland season. They're dragging out here with the chain. I thought it was a first down. It looks like a first down to me. Let's see. It is a first down by half a football, guys. Boy, they had to measure that. I don't know why. I had to measure. It's first down brownies driving against the Packers. All right, guys. Looks like we have three people on here. Let me know uh, in your picks who, who you want, Arizona or the Colts, just out of curiosity. Arizona or the Indianapolis Colts. I'm from Indianapolis, uh, just to let you know. We moved to South Carolina about – Eight years ago, we love it here. We're down uh, a lot of mountains and beautiful trees. But Indianapolis, I love Indianapolis too. Still have a lot of friends in Indy. A um, lot, lot flat, a lot more cows and cornfields in Indianapolis. But we have a lot of chickens here in South Carolina. But we also don't have a football team here in South Carolina. We have the Panthers, but they're North Carolina. And I've never been a big Panthers fan. But Indianapolis Colts, they love their football. Uh, Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck, they love all those guys out there. Colts were a basketball town really before Peyton Manning. You know, Reggie Miller, uh, I used to love the Indiana Pacers, Reggie Miller, uh, especially when he went off against the Knicks. And then uh, you had Peyton Manning drafted in 1998, and uh, that kind of changed things for Indianapolis, started making it a football team. Colts, T-Bone, Colts, money line over 42. Nice, we got – Got the first one for the Colts. T-Bone picks the Colts. Got money line over 42. T-Bone, do you think it's going to be under 48? Steven Jones going for Colts, too. Boy, that time tied it up real quick. We got 2-2 two, two, Colts, Arizona. What are you guys thinking point-wise? I think the line was 48, unless it's changed. Let's see. I'm still showing 48. I say under 48, but like I said, I'm more confident about that. I feel more confident. Maybe you guys are making me think about it a little more. But uh, yeah, I, I say Arizona covers the three. But uh, who do I hope win? I mean, I actually kind of hope. To be honest with you, the Colts win. I think the Colts are a scary team. If they um, get in those playoffs, you know, with – man, I'm telling you, Jonathan Taylor is a beast, guys. I mean, look what he did to Bill Belichick. And uh, I don't necessarily like the Patriots, but I have a lot of respect for Bill Belichick. I think he's a genius. And, uh, boy, he ran all over him. Bill Belichick's the greatest at keying on a player and taking him out of the game. And uh, they keyed on Jonathan Taylor, and he still ran for nearly 200 yards. It was incredible. After that, I'm thinking MVP, but uh, let's see what he does tonight. But we got two picks for the Colts and two picks for Arizona. So let's see how much longer we have till this game kicks off. 51 minutes, gang. Woo! Let's do it. We still got the – oh, no, it looks like the Browns blew it. I missed it. I don't know what happened, but Green Bay's got the ball. Browns, I'm telling you, but Green Bay is not going to beat that spread. So Cleveland stayed within the spread. Cleveland takes their first time out. 39 seconds to go, 24-22 Green Bay. Wow. Well, I lost that one. But can't win them all, but Browns showed up today. I'll give them that. Packers didn't necessarily play as good as I thought the Packers were going to play come. I mean, you know, we're coming in on football time, guys. You need to be top of your game this time of year, especially at home. 
Cleveland's got a good defense, but I don't know what happened there. Baker's whining about something. Dang it. Well, so the Packers are going to go to 12 and 3. The Browns are going to fall to 7 and 8. Packers are tough, guys. They are tough. They just kind of win games, however, whatever kind of game they're in. If it's a defensive game, they seem to win. If it's an offensive game, they seem to win it. They're just, they, they win those games. You got uh, Aaron Rodgers, who's been in this position before quite a few times, should have been in this position more than that, but. If you ask me, but all right, we got Colts at two, Arizona at two. So far, we have T Bone saying his money line is over 42. Let me tell you, let's see. So, if you took Colts' money line and over 42, let's see what that pays. So, if you took Colts' money line, I like it. I do like the upside in this bet. Colts' money line and over 42, so you'd have to change the score here. Over 42. What is that going to pay? Parlay, $10 parlay. Fortunately, your picks cannot be parlayed. Why? Oh. Ow. <laughs> Can't stand that. So you can't parlay the Colts and money line and over 42. I don't know why. A lot of times, let's see. Are you kidding me? Can't do that. Yeah. Aggravates me. Then my computer's running really slow too. It could be. I can't believe I can't. So we got over 42. Okay, let's go. Let's do over 42. Colts money line. Let's see if we can take this Colts minus one. Can't parlay that either. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, DraftKings has changed it. It's... They do these, oh, you know what? We could do a single game parlay. Let's see. Let's see. We could do a single game parlay here. Let me clear this. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Keep forgetting about that. It's different from last year. DraftKings. We've got a lot of DraftKings stock. It's no financial advice or anything, but DraftKings stock is sitting at a very, very, very good price. And just like right now, I'm on DraftKings. Be a good investment. And on top of that, if you guys play DraftKings, you're invested in something that you use all the time. Okay, single game parlay. <clears throat> T-Bone said Colts money line. And... and over 42 game lines. Over 42. Over 41 and a half. That would be plus 230, T-Bone. So let's see what we got. If you're still with me. 100 wins you. 330. Plus 235. 100 would win you. Would profit you two hundred and thirty dollars total, three hundred and thirty bucks. Not bad, not bad. But that's taking Colts money line and over forty one and a half points. Hmm. Stephen Jones going for Colts tonight. Colts money line just straight up. That would be that would be good too. Let's see what we got there. Let me just oh yeah, it's not a single game parlay, so you don't single game parlay that. Colts straight up is plus one thirty-five. So a hundred page of two thirty-five. That's good. Arizona 
Falcons winning this. That's my prediction. Colts money line over 42. I'm going for Colts tonight. Let's turn on the game. Let's see. One second. this game on. Do, 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 do. Trying to get the Colts game. Colts in Arizona. Around the Packers. Oh, let's see. Is the cause NFL on post game? I can't find the game, guys. Let's see, I know it's on here. I know it's not on NFL Network. NFL, oh, it is on NFL Network. Wow. Okay. Well, that works out. 31 minutes. Been on here for 31 minutes, and we have 40. Four minutes, 44 and a half till this game kicks off. So, okay, I'm just going to read some other things here while we're just waiting for this game to kick off. Let me uh, mm, get a drink real quick. So we got, all right, we got uh, some other bets that would be decent. You know, you got, um, Touchdown scores on DraftKings. You know that you get you got first touchdown scores, last score of the game, or anytime score. I always like anytime. And you know, any of these, if you you know, touch on them like Jonathan Taylor minus two fifteen, there's really no point in even doing that. I mean, there's no point in even taking that risk, to be honest. It might if it was plus two fifteen, absolutely, but I'm not gonna play with minus two fifteen. That's crazy. But uh you know, let's see what some of these odds are here. Got Christian Kirk at 165. Got Michael Pittman Jr. at plus 150. Michael Pittman Jr. got kicked out of the game last week, so he's probably maybe coming to play. Let's see if he can behave himself this week. Kyler Murray, always he always has a chance to run one in. It's plus 140. I mean, not the greatest odds, to be honest with you. I like something that pays, you know, when it comes to these uh anytime touchdowns you know like naheem hines you know he might get in he got in last week i don't like that but he's plus 330 you got uh let's see zach Ertz. he's 230 plus 230 colts defense if they score one it's plus 450 that's i don't think that happens uh carson wentz running on one end that's plus 750 so uh just uh depends on what you'd like to go here but um you know, like I said, uh, Colts losing a big-time valuable piece in Leonard. He was selected to the Pro Bowl. Uh, I think it's his third time in his fourth season. Uh, you know, just last week he was a uh, player of the week in the AFC. He had 10 uh, tackles against the Patriots when they beat the Patriots. That was a good, good game for the Colts. Um, I was do the same Colts show up today to play Arizona. I don't know about that. Don't know. I give them props, too. They showed up. They came to play Bill Belichick. Jonathan Taylor ran all over him, but, uh, so I give them props. If you're new on here, let me know who you want, Colts or Arizona. So far, we got a tally. We got two for the Colts. We got two for Arizona. My pick is Arizona's covering the spread. It's going to stay under the 48 points. Um, the public here seems to be taking the Colts, though, favoring the Colts. So if you think any different, just let me know. Let me know. Just making a tally, and before game time, we'll figure up who is correct or who what, who the people are taking, Arizona or the Indianapolis Colts. Colts have been on fire. Arizona hadn't been. Arizona just lost to Detroit last week, which is pretty embarrassing to say. But uh, I think Detroit's not as bad as the record says. Um, I know so I might get laughed at it by some people when I say that, but I really – you don't get much worse than, you know, what are they, 2, 11, and 5 or something like that. It's it's crazy. But uh, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, now it's a 2. I can't remember what they are. They're terrible. I'll tell you that. And uh, Arizona lost to them last week. So 
Colts have beat some quality teams, you know, this year, you know, that at first I didn't think they did with the two games of Houston, but uh, they've had a pretty good run and they really haven't got blown out by anybody. You know, they've been in pretty much every ball game this year. They did uh, blow out Buffalo. I believe it was 45, 14 or something like that. It was crazy score. But uh, then there again, I think Jonathan Taylor showed up for fantasy purposes. I think Jonathan Taylor is a good start tonight. Uh, I think uh, fantasy purposes, Kyler Murray's always a good start. No, no uh, Hopkins, you know, they've been without him for the last couple weeks and he's done for the season. So that's no news there, but uh, definitely slows down the passing game a little bit. <clears throat> but Kyler Murray still has Zekertz and uh, uh, Kirk to throw the ball to a couple other targets over there in Arizona. And Kyler Murray, like I said, can always run the ball if he needs to. So, uh, let me know if you're taking the Colts or Arizona. We got T Bone taking the Colts, Steven taking Colts, Acklord taking Arizona. I'm taking Arizona. So let me let me uh, know what you just type it in the chat. Do you want Arizona or the Colts? Just curious what people are thinking. Right now the poll is two to two. Arizona and the Colts. T Bone said money line over 42. The line is 48. So I'm wondering. Over or under 48. You had to take over or under 48. What are you taking? You know, you got two pretty good defenses, except I'm telling you, the Colts defense is beat up, guys. No Darius Leonard, no uh, safety, no cornerback. And Arizona doesn't have Hopkins, but uh, they are really, really going to be struggling. Aaron Rodgers getting interviewed. He looks pretty happy for a change. I wouldn't be that happy if I just beat the Browns by two points at home. I mean, I know a win's a win. You take it. But, man, I would think they had been a little bit more dominant. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. These Packers, they just – but I still think you see them in an NFC's championship game. I do. I do. Oh. Ooh. But uh, – Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, good. So you got Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Jonathan Taylor for MVP. Got two people on here. I appreciate the two people hanging in there with me. Yeah, we got the stock market that's going to be opening up Monday. Get these Colts, you know, playing tonight. We got the games going on tomorrow as well. A lot of big games tomorrow, too. If you guys want to talk about any other games, let me know. If you need have any questions or anything or what you want my opinion in any of these games, let me know, too. We don't have to just talk about tonight's game. But uh, like I said, tonight, Arizona, cover the points uh, under 48. And that's my pick. If you guys think any different. Or just if you think Colts, Arizona, just let me know in the chat box. Keeping a running tally. Right now it's tied, so we need a tiebreaker. We need a tiebreaker. Colts in Arizona. Colts in Arizona. All right, guys, hold on. I'll be right back.
All right. I'm back. I am back. Got one person still hanging in there. Things were hanging in there. All right. The first first game down. Got Packers pulling that one out. Should have won by more than that. I took him minus seven and a half. But what can you do? What can you do? But uh, hold on one second. Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry about that. Well, all right. Type in the chat bar who you want, Arizona or the Colts. We got Arizona with two, and we've got the Colts with two. And my personal pick, no advice, but is Arizona to cover the points and Stay under the 48 points. That That is my pick. That is my pick. Let me know what you're thinking. I mean, so far, two people t- taking the Colts. They believe in those Colts. Colts are a scary team. But do they have enough to beat Arizona? I mean, come on, guys, Arizona. I mean, they lost to Detroit last week, I know. But outside of that, they're, they're a pretty good team. People lost Hopkins. They lost Hopkins. <clears throat> People giving up on them. Um, it's still a very good team. Tough division, too. Tough division. Colts have been pretty good recently, but I'm going to go for Arizona. Max and Cheese. Colts have been pretty good recently, but I'm going to go for Arizona. All right. Go, well, Max. That's uh, we agree on one thing. That is three now for Arizona and two for the Colts. So three for Arizona and two for Colts. Like I said, I'd like Arizona in the points. And uh, but a lot of people liking the Colts here. We'll see. I got the game turned on. Just wait and let's see how much time we've got till this game kicks off. We have got 32 minutes. 32 minutes till this game kicks off. You know, you got to love it. So what did we have? We had football on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Then you had Wednesday. Then you had Thursday. Then Friday was Christmas Eve. Then you had Saturday football. Then tomorrow Sunday, and you got Sunday football. I mean, this is fantastic, if you ask me. I could do that. I could do this all the time. Maybe drag it out a little bit, little bit through the week. What do you guys think? Colts, 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 Arizona. Man, I'm telling you what. A lot of people on here thinking Colts. If you're new to the stream, let me know who you want, Colts or Arizona. Let me know who you're thinking. What do you guys think about the over-under? Over 48, under 48? That means points total, total points scored between both teams. Do you think it will be over 48 or under 48? That's the line. I've moved my computer, so I do have a better, lot better stream. I don't know if you guys checked out my first live stream. Um, I think it was some football picks, too. Um, I actually had some, quite a bit of supporters on there. I, I appreciate it. But, um, boy, that was a terrible video. Terrible video quality. Uh, I can still get some better, like, lighting and stuff like this. Maybe a better background or something maybe that says something like michael stock updates is awesome something like that a sign but uh i don't know uh, 
you have any ideas, let me know. That'd be fantastic. Because uh, I don't really have too much fancy stuff when it comes to this YouTube station. Now, the stocks. I love talking about the stocks. I can talk about stocks all day. Stocks and football. Stocks and football. But I do work a job. do pay my bills. Own a house. All that good stuff. But uh, I'm married. You have two beautiful kids. I have a beautiful wife. Awesome dogs. Awesome dogs. My dogs are awesome. But a lot more awesome than Tom Brady. I got to tell you this, you know. Like I said, I respect Tom Brady, but I just can't see Tom Brady being a, you know, what is it? It would be his 10th Super Bowl, I think. And if he won it, it would be his eighth win. Can't have that, guys. Can't have that. The NFL, you know, I mean, I, th I think the NFL wants a, a Tom Brady versus New England Super Bowl. I think they would love to see it. I don't know why. But uh, I think they would absolutely love to see it. I think, you know, if you're a Patriots fan or Tom Brady fan, you would love to see it outside of that. I don't think anybody wants to see that, you know. I really don't. It would, You know, he's setting these records where they're never going to be attainable. And that's it. I mean, I respect him. The guy's older than me. Like, I think two years or 10 years or 20 years, something like that. He's pretty old and he's still, still playing. So, and playing at an elite level. Like I said, he's in the running for MVP. And I wouldn't be surprised if he wins it. And that Packers defense has been playing tough the last few games. You're playing tough. It's coming down to playoff, playoff football time. Playoff football time. Baker, 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 Baker. He throws as many, many interceptions as he does as he has commercials on TV. And trust me, that is a lot. It's a lot of commercials, a lot of interceptions. Packers looking good. In Arizona. So we got somebody, got a friend here. He thinks Arizona. Arizona, he's taking Arizona, and he's a Colts fan. He's taking Arizona. So we got four picks Arizona, two picks Colts. If you're new and just tuning in, uh, let me know in the um, chat. In the chat right over there. Who you want? Colts or Arizona? Who would you take? Colts or Arizona? Who you think is winning this game? We have four for Arizona, two for Colts. If you guys have any questions as far as fantasy purposes or anything like that, let me know because I'm in all kind of fantasy football leagues. And the playoffs and most of them got put out in the playoffs early. Jamar Chase hurt me in a league last week. Big time. Big time. But uh, let's see. Mm. All right, guys. Well, let's see if anybody else is tuning in here. We got Arizona with four votes and Colts with two. So people are taking Arizona, as I am. Arizona to cover the spread and under the points. If you're new, just uh, let me know in the chat bar. You think Colts can win without Darius? I don't. I don't. I am taking uh, Arizona to cover the spread. I think. Um, I think Arizona would beat the Colts. Even with Darius, but without Darius, for sure, I don't think uh, they're going to be able to do it. I think the Colts have been hot in Arizona. 
has, like I said, just lost to Detroit, I know. But um, I think uh, it's a big game, and Arizona's a little bit better than people get the credit for. Uh, I know Arizona's without Hopkins, but Colts are without starting corner, starting safety. No Darius Leonard. Uh, late scratch because of COVID, so I don't. I would take the Arizona. I'm taking Arizona minus three, and I'm taking under the points, under 48. Let me know what you think about the points. Do you think it's over or under 48? And, and who do you like, Matthias? Do you like Colts or Arizona? We got most. We got most people taking Arizona. We got few people taking Colts. <laughs> so Colts. I'm going Colts. Beat up they are, but they have heart. Not a Colts fan at all. That's where I put my money tonight. You'd be Colts. Arrowhead Love. I like the name. I like the name. It's going Colts. Man, a lot of people going Colts here. No problem, Matthias. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Arrowhead Love, you're going Colts. What do you think it is? You think it's over or under 48 points total? What both teams will score tonight. Do you think it's over or under 48? Let me know, guys. Bet on Colts, but I don't know now if there is. I would have bet on Colts. Would have bet on Colts, but I don't know now if there is. Out. Yeah, a lot of people, uh, Matthias, a lot of people are betting the Colts. As far as this, just talking to the people on here, a lot of people bet Colts. And then that late scratch with uh, Darius Leonard. And like I said, the Colts have been hot. You know, Arizona just lost to Detroit last week. So, I mean, you're on to something, but uh, – I just, I just feel at Arizona. Um, I think it's gonna. I just think it's gonna be a little too much for the Colts tonight. With the, without Darius Leonard, you know that's the backbone of their defense. That's their leader. I, uh, you know, so now it's uh, somebody else would have to pick up the slack. And like I said, they're also missing. Uh, let's see who they, they, a couple other big people. So you have Darius Leonard. Uh, you know they also uh, Zach Pascal. The safety Cree wallet Willis, and you also had uh, um, it's also big, it's also somebody else big. If I can find it, um, yeah, without Sandejo, the safety, uh, without their se center Ryan Kelly, and without their starting quarterback Rocky Sin, so they are pretty short. Uh, I just don't know if uh, they'd be able to do it. <clears throat> Let's see. Under, under is my opinion. Under, under 48, under 48. And Max and Chi says under, I'm going to say under 48. Not completely sure, but we'll see. Yeah, that's what I think. I think under 48 as well. So we have with 48 points. We have one, two, three. We have, oh, gosh, everybody going under. <clears throat> under 48. Stephen Jones under. So he's taking Colts and under Stephen. So you got. Boy, everybody taking under. Hope Vegas ain't watching. That that means they'll make it go over. But uh, all right. So, so right now we have uh, Arizona with three people think. Pete, no, Arizona. Four people. Five people say Arizona's going to win. Four people say Colts. We have everybody taking under forty-eight. Under forty-eight. Let me tell you that Packers Browns game was just <clears throat> excuse me 24 to 22 so that was 46 points and I'm I don't even know how that they had that many points scored to be honest with you Packers looked like they was going to blow them out but uh, ended up being a ball game like normal they always keep these NFL ball games within these point spread it seems like but uh just like that Green Bay seven and a half points at home they couldn't couldn't cover. Crazy. No Darius Leonard, huge. 
It's huge for the Colts. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to sign off here. Uh, let's see how much time we have till the game kicks off in 20 minutes. So final tally was people think Arizona is going to win it. Everybody's taking uh, under 48. So Arizona, Arizona and under 48 is what it seems to be coming through on the stream. So we'll see. So our stream says Arizona and under 48. We did have people pick the Colts. Everybody was at on the train with under 48. Did like I said, we did have some people pick the Colts, but the majority picked Arizona. So Michael Stock Updates NFL Stream prediction for tonight's game. If you have any last last words, say it now or forever hold your peace. Say it now in the chat bar. Forever hold your peace. Colts, Arizona, over, under 48, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ding, 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 ding. All right, the bell's in. We had somebody just join on here. If you're, if you're new, put Colts or Arizona in the chat bar. It's about to go off. Michael, the stream is about to call the winner. Let's see how we do. So, so far, let's see how our stream does so far. So, this group of people have picked. All right. Okay, I called it. It's, it's over. It's officially over. And Michael's stock update stream has picked Arizona for the win under 48 points. Let's see how we do, guys. Thanks to all for tuning in. Thanks for all commenting and liking. Uh, I'll do more of these, maybe. It's pretty exciting, and that we can tell how exciting it is. But uh, it, it is fun uh, just reaching out to you guys. I'll do more. And uh, like I said, Michael Stock Updates, uh, it's my YouTube channel. Do stocks during the week. Uh, no financial advice, but I do just look for, you know, clear entry points and just try to make a little bit of money on the stock market as long as, as well as this NFL betting stuff. I'm in South Carolina, can't really bet. And I'm never given telling you what to do. I'm just, just strictly advice on what I would do. And I'd like getting opinions from like these streams. So our stream said that Arizona is going to win it. They said it's going to be under 48. Let's see how we are. We don't have a record yet. So let's hope we can start out 1-0. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, if you need anything else, just uh, subscribe to my channel. Like it. And uh, we'll do more of these. But uh, I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to all you guys. Arizona and the under. Let's go. Merry Christmas. Take care.